Alright folks, you're in for a treat. You're about to get the nitty gritty on Caroline at For the Love of Crochet. I believe I was tagged by KS Mom Crochets, another YouTube channel, a long time ago and I forgot all about it and it was the 23 non-yarny things about me. So being that it's the 23rd of July, um, I just had a birthday, I figured, you know what, let me get this tag done before the other tag that I was tagged in by someone else. So let's get into it. The first question is, favorite color? I don't pick a favorite color. I have favorite colors for different things. I love a, a very dark wine burgundy color because it complements my skin. But if you look at my yarn, I have purples and pinks and um, yeah. And if you ask me what I also like to wear, I also really like to wear a lot of black. Although I do fancy a very pretty yellow mustard color and I do fancy a cinnamon orangey color so um, like a pumpkin spice uh, so I don't have a favorite color I don't discriminate I like them all but for different things okay and then the next one is genre of music oh, I'm gonna blow your mind but you know I'm just gonna pop in my Spotify list down below and you'll get to know me I'm quite the eclectic and I tend to pick a lot of music from all kinds of different I mean I even listen to music that doesn't even speak my language where but anyways I have a Spotify list I have a workout list I have a favorites list I probably have an oldies list I have a worship list um, so if you want to check out my music that I will try to link down below but just off the top of my head um, Back in the day, Prince was was my was my fave, was one of my faves. Just offhand. Okay, on to the next. Don't get grossed out. It's favorite food. And if I was on death row, this would be my last meal, okay? It would be my mother's lengua. Do you know what that is? It's cow tongue. That's how you say tongue in Spanish is lengua. Yeah, that is my absolute favorite. It's so good, it's so delicious, it's so tender and melts in your mouth meat. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't gross too many of you out, but um, yes, tongue, yum. And with some beans and rice, mm -mm -mm. that is my on death row that would be it my mother's beans rice and tongue mm. okay i won't gross you out anymore <laughs> uh but click that like if if you know if you've ever tasted it I, i'd be interested okay uh next one is soda or pop i say soda i don't drink it very much at all i'm a green tea girl pretty much all day every day that is my comfort green tea okay but i say soda favorite animal okay so I, i'm like i have a hard time with this i need a category obviously favorite animal is going to be dogs because i live with four of them <laughs> two were not by choice and two were my choice okay but yeah so dogs definitely are my favorite animal to have at home however if you're thinking things that I can admire, tigers, wolves, lions, I admire those animals. And those are what I see in pictures and like it. So wolves, tigers, and although elephants are really pretty too. So I don't know. Anyway, moving on. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have a hard time because I don't have favorites. Favorite holiday. We're going to go with Christmas. Okay, because that's where all the family gets together most. Why do I like that? Because family, you know, family. I don't tend, we don't tend to get together for all the other holidays, but Christmas we do. Um, next one is favorite book. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm, a, I'm an avid reader as well as a crocheter. So reading, I like a lot. 
um, on top of my Bible, let's just say lately, my top faves. Okay, and just so you know, I have my Goodreads list listed up somewhere in the, you know, my banner where it has my Instagram, my Goodreads. Goodreads is where you're going to find all the books I've read, but Goodreads, uh, I mean, favorite books just currently, currently, that I can think off the top of my head was If I Run series by Terry Blackstock, I think is her name. Okay, and then um, also The Marsh King's Daughter, if you want a little thriller, mm, that's a good one. Um, and the one that's most recent, because there's even a movie out for it right now, Where the Crawdads Sing, ah, another good one, so good. Okay, uh, in fact, my husband took me to go see that for my birthday, and it was really good. The book is way better just because it gives you all that inside thoughts and feelings um, that movies have a hard time of portraying. So, Where the Crawdads Sing, The Marsh King's Daughter. I don't know who The Marsh King's Daughter is by. Oh, and then anything by the author Frederick Bachman, I love. I read it all. I've read every one of his books, every single one. So he's my, so I definitely like his books. <laughs> okay, moving on. Favorite pizza? Okay, current, uh, I, I can't eat pizza because I have celiac disease and, but if I could eat pizza, I would eat round table or me and Ed's and of course, pineapple. I know that drives a lot of you mad, but pineapple, yes. Yes on the pineapple. <laughs> pineapple belongs on pizza. Um, in fact, just a little fun fact. Uh, with my last son, when I was pregnant with him, I think I ate pizza every day, practically. Okay, favorite pastime. Besides crochet, of course, because this is non-yarny. Um, I would have to say YouTube. I watch a lot of YouTube and yeah, that's my favorite pastime is YouTube. Uh, favorite TV series. Okay, so I have, you know, throughout the years you have a lot of different favorites, but if I have to pick currently Yellowstone series, specifically their or origin, um, and I don't know the name of it, but if I can title it down below, I will. Um, I always forget names. So the Yellowstone series, specifically the origin that they just finished airing last, the earlier this year. And then um, I also watch Outlander, but you know, I kind of got bored with it, so I haven't finished it. And then Virgin River, uh, that's also a book and so I've read those books and so it kind of just you know it's fun to watch and then moving on from favorite TV series to favorite vegetable currently not like it changes a lot I just really have fell in love with Brussels sprouts Yum. oh my gosh that is my favorite vegetable right now although eggplant it's just not in season yet, but eggplant is another favorite. Um, favorite subject in high school? Was I even in high school? My favorite subject was boys. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I don't think I ever attended. You know how you, it says so many days attended, right? I, I remember seeing that on the report card. I had like 165 days missed or something like that. It was it was a lot, but you know how they, you know, each class, each each subject has a day missed. So it's not really true because I don't even think we're in school 165 days. Let's move on. <laughs> okay, favorite actress or actor. I'm gonna go with Brad Pitt, only because some of my favorite movies. Uh, star him in it and okay here I go so just some of my top faves with Brad Pitt in it is Troy a river runs through it and legends of the fall so I mean 
those are just I don't necessarily know if it's because he's my favorite actor or if it's just because I really love those movies but they all star Brad Pitt therefore I like Brad Pitt moving on <laughs> okay favorite singer <laughs> Again, Spotify list. I don't have a favorite singer, but I do have favorite songs. And let's just say there's probably like 500 favorite songs. I don't pick favorites, you know, because they're different moods for different things, right? Okay, but favorite singer, let's just, you know, just if I said, you know, someone asked me, what album do you want me to play? I would say Lenny Kravitz, Prince. Guns N' Roses, so yeah, those are some favorites. Yeah. Favorite superhero? My mother. My mother's my superhero. Okay, favorite comedian? I don't have one. Uh, favorite season? Of course, the in-betweens spring and fall. Those are my faves, you know? One where you don't have to turn on the some type of device to condition your air, the heater, the fireplace, or the AC, you know? I, I Spring and fall, the in-betweens. Favorite movie. Okay, so even though I've listed some Brad Pitt movies and those are very favorites, I decided to go with your comfort movies, like the ones you put on at, or if you see them on the television, you're gonna leave it on that channel because you, you like that movie. And that is, I just listed three, but there are several, several more that I wanted to list. I'm just going to go with these. The first one is Streets of Fire with Diane Lane. Mm -hmm. The second one is Moulin Rouge with, you know, what's her name? The blonde who used to be mar married to Tom Cruise. I don't know her name. I can't think of it. Let me Google it. Nicole Kidman. Okay, so I like Moulin Rouge with Nicole Kidman. And for the last one, favorite, let me see, man, what did I put down here? You probably don't know these, but maybe you do. Valley Girl with Nicolas Cage. I bet you you don't know that one. <laughs> Tell me below if you know that movie. That's so those are my comfort movies. I'll if those are on at any time of the day, they're going in. They're going to stay on. Okay. Favorite smell. These are going to be uh, flowers and herbs and I if if I pass by a rosemary bush, I'll grab the the rosemary and rub it in my hands like this and go like that because I love the smell of it. Mm. I love the smell of rosemary. It just, it smells so good. I wish I had some right now. And uh, lavender, of course, lavender's favorite. So when I pick all my cleaning products or lavender is a fave. Also, jasmine. Jasmine, you either love it or you hate it. But jasmine, I love it. Okay, and then the, the specific lily flower that oh it smells so good yeah i don't have a favorite but i love lots of them uh best friend my honey he's my number one fan he's my my go-to he's gonna be the person i talk to the most and if you notice I, I, if you read the comments he's always commenting on my on my videos. He will always leave a comment. Um, favorite decade. They all kind of suck. <laughs> I'm kind of like, no, no, I don't know. I don't have a favorite decade, but I definitely like the eighties. Let's go with the eighties. Eighties were a favorite decade. Favorite YouTube channel, woo! Well, let's just say that I am subscribed to 439 currently, as of today, 439 channels that I'm subscribed to. 
favorite pastime. Okay, so I have some for you. If you like need ideas for cooking or want to get inspired, check out these two. Simply Mama Cooks from Mexican Food. Mm. Oh, she does a fantastic job and she's easy to follow and not a lot of just jibber jabber. She's great. Uh, Laura, for Italian, Laura Vitale. Oh, everything I've made of hers, everyone loves it. So all her stuff is good. All the food is good. And she knows her stuff. And I mean, she has a gazillion followers. She even she even get hosts on the Today Show and stuff. So the girl knows her stuff. Okay, and then for, you probably heard of this, for just your everyday mom hacks, tricks, recipes, she's, you know, full circle, but mainly she's the girl on the cheap. And she is, her channel is called Do It On A Dime. So she's, fan, she's a favorite. And then for gardening, if you want some gardening, I tend to watch Callie Kim because she's in my zone, she's in my area. And so the tens of problems that she has are gonna be the problems that I have. So I tend to watch her, but she has a book as well. Gardening, um, also Roots and Refuge. Now she is just a gem of nuggets. Uh, she vlogs, she's all real, all day vlog. Uh, so she's a great one to watch. And then for your Christian um, inspiration, I have three. Now, the first one I'm gonna say is she, she will keep you entertained, okay? She is just, she's a wackadoodle, but she's fun, you know? So her, her channel name is How to Faith a Life. The second one is Kim Cash Tate. She's also an author. She's a uh, she's got a lot of books, but she's also sings, uh, but she has Bible study series that are really good. So that's the ones that I tend to flock to are her Bible study series. And then the last one is for a, she is a gem. I, she is so unique and I wish she did more videos, but her channel name is Far Away Distance. So that is a wrap. 23 non-yarny things about me. I hope you feel like you got to know me a little better. And um, yeah, let me know if you connect with me on any of these or if any of these are your faves. And, you know, hopefully I didn't blow your mind too much. But hopefully you found some good stuff in there. Uh, like for books and reading and movies, you know, maybe you'll find something you like, especially the food. Oh, the food channels are so awesome. So that is a wrap. And just so you know, next week I am scrap busting big time. And um, I, I like this challenge. I love this. This is one of my favorite challenges and that is to scrap bust, scrap bust, really bust in your scraps. So, I, and I've already made a couple and you, I'm, they are so amazing and I can't wait to share them with you. So I shall see you next week with a scrap busting video. Bye. I forgot to mention, Cassandra, tag, you're it for the 23 non-yarny things about me. And um, anyone who's watching this, consider yourself tagged, you're it.